from Phoenix Shaving, Casi Perfecto. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave. Play ball! Hi, YouTubers and what savers everywhere. It's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den, courtesy of Doug, Friend, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving. My thanks to them for very kindly sending it along to the channel and allowing me to share it with you. It's a brand new release, a brand new shave soap. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome, make yourself at home, check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is right here. A brand new shave soap. Casi Perfecto. Right there. Yeah, kind of a baseball theme going on there <laughs> on the label art. And you'll soon find out why. Really, really nice, fresh scent with this one. Yeah, oh boy, that's terrific. Yeah, got a brand new puck right there. Brand new tub of it. And I also have some information regarding this. Uh, here's the, uh, let's get the label right here. Here is the, uh, the uh, scent profile. The top notes are green leaf, lavender, and Douglas fir. The middle notes are bright Italian bergamot, Moroccan cardamom, and cactus. The base notes are black pepper, amber, vetiver, and mahogany. <laughs> this is really a wonderful, wonderful scent. And now they, uh, they make note of this right here. Fans of fresco, or Old Spice Fresh will love this. So absolutely, this is definitely in that ballpark of uh, those two other shave soaps from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, Fresco and Old Spice Fresh, no doubt about it. Got that same vibe going on there. And yeah, definitely, the, this scent is definitely in that ballpark. And again, <laughs> a little bit of a baseball thing going on there. Uh, and as they write here, here's our latest homage. Casi Perfecto. Now, that, that's spelled C-A-S-I. Casi. That's the way I'm pronouncing it. I think that's the way it's pronounced. If it's not, my apologies. Uh, here's our latest homage. Casi Perfecto. A tribute to a 90s classic, Curve for Men. Uh, chances are you or one of your friends wore the heck out of this stuff back in the day and likely still do. I actually don't even consider this nostalgic, but as relevant as ever. Timeless even. However, at some point there was a slight reformulation and the new stuff just didn't seem as potent as the original. Uh, for that reason, we had to step in with a Phoenix reboot and not only crank it back up, but also build a collection of matching products around it for the gents still rocking this intoxicating juice. Yeah, this is really, again, this is really a nice Nice, fresh scent. Yeah, and it's got a nice refinement to it. It's perfect for an evening out. It is very gentlemanly, and yet has that nice masculine undertone to it. Yeah, it is really, really great. And I love the baseball theme. I mean, that also says something right there, too. Uh, as they say here, warning, math coming. Uh, as for our name, Casi Perfecto, that is, that's Spanish for almost perfect. Uh, this is not in regard to the fragrance, but to the year it was originally released, 1996. 96 is an almost perfect number. In mathematics, an almost perfect number is a natural number, n, such that the sum of all divisors of n is equal to 2n minus 1, the sum of all proper divisors of n, well, they go, <laughs> it's math. Just know, <laughs> math. Just know that it's an almost perfect number, okay? <laughs> I also thought Casi Perfecto sounded like an old school baseball player. Maybe Casey Perfecto? Uh, and that really tied in nicely with the curve theme, especially a catcher throwing a curveball sign. No, there you go, right there, okay? 
<laughs> really, really terrific. So yeah, a typical Phoenix shading label working on a few different levels in an effort to tie the room together laugh out loud. Uh, historically, we don't typically explain what's going on in the design, but maybe it's time we do. Uh, so there you go. Uh, right there, let me just set this aside right here. And uh, yeah, there it is. Casi Perfecto, a really, really terrific Terrific, terrific scent. We are going to have a shade with this. I'm going to put some hot water on there. Uh, I'm also going to use my Paul Gruner lathering bowl. I'm going to get a nice hot towel. I'm going to use the Cube 2.0. Well, okay, in order, I'm going to use the Cube 2.0, a nice hot towel. We're going to use the Paul Gruner lathering bowl. We're going to put some hot water on top of the uh, Casi Perfecto. I'm going to use my Cyclotrode X shaving brush. Uh, and I'm going to use my uh, Phoenix Shaving Copper Ascension Double Open Comb Twist Adjustable Razor. And my blade this time around is going to be one I haven't used in a while, a Persona Red. Yeah, these came courtesy of viewer Mark Bagwell. Thank you very, very much, Mark. And of course, we'll uh, finish it off with the uh, Casi Perfecto. Uh, aftershave and cologne, and for upstairs, a little bit of Mysterium Serum mentholated. So that's kind of got to lay the land here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot water on top of this. I'm going to do my pre-shave. We got a nice hot towel. And uh, yeah, get all that going. And I'll see you on the other side to start the shave. So hang in there with me. <laughs> Boy, do we have a lot here. Wow. Wow. We are we are almost there. Let me just get just a little more dab of water in there. Man, oh man, look at that. We <laughs> check that out. Boom! Lather! Wow, that really lathered up a treat. Let's go ahead and paint that on. That is Marvelous. This has been an absolutely fantastic lather this time around. Man, I think I did probably a little too much of a brush, though, to be honest with you, because I had to keep adding a little more water to this, because uh, <laughs> maybe I did, I don't know, uh, 10 swirls. I probably only needed really five or six. I mean, really, this is fantastic. Oh, my gosh, in this scent is beautiful. This is really great. This is perfect for an evening out. I'm telling you, this is great. Yeah, uh, you know what? The summer months coming up. Baseball will be starting pretty soon. This is perfect. You know, you're going to go out for the evening. Maybe uh, get a nice dinner someplace. Maybe take in a night ball game. Oh, yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely perfect. Man, this is great. Look at all, look at all that lather I've got. Wow, and I may have forgot to mention I've got two days worth of beard growth. So look, I've got plenty of lather. Look how much lather I got. More than enough lather for this shave. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Here are my uh, Persona razor blades right here. Let's get one right here. Uh, okay, it says stainless steel on the uh, 
package right there, but the blank says platinum. Mark Bagwell pointed that out to me. I'll show you. Here we go. We'll open that up. It says platinum here. Here, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. Okay. And it says platinum chrome. Platinum chrome right there. See that? How about that, huh? It says stainless steel on the on the box and platinum chrome on the blade. Let me set it there like that. Let's get my copper ascension razor. Okay. I am using an O-ring, a buffer ring, a white buffer ring. We had a recent discussion as to uh, the different feel between white and black buffer rings. There might be some difference in tensile strength or pliability, that sort of thing. Okay, we're going to put that on there like that. Uh, this time around, I'm going to use a, uh, a white O-ring, and then the next time I'll use the uh, the black one. Uh, okay, yeah, can I get in there? Okay, there we go. There's my O-ring there. And let's just get that all lined up. There we go. There we go. A little bit of glue in between the channels of the blade there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Let's just, you know what? I'm going to double check that just to be on the safe side, to be perfectly honest with you, because there was some glue hindering that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're seated now. See, we're seated. And then we're going to put this guy on top. And I just lost my white O-ring. So you know what? I'm going to get a black O-ring. <laughs> Hang on one minute. Bear with me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We'll use a black O-ring. Okay. I got some right here. I put these in my cart uh, a couple of visits ago at uh, Phoenix Shaving. Uh, it's about a buck for 10 of them. And I just, every once in a while, I'll buy 10 of them just to have. Okay. So there it is. The black O-ring. We're going to use a black O-ring this time around. All right. And there's, there's probably a little bit of a difference there. All right, so there's my black O-ring right there. There's my handle. Oh, you know, <laughs> there's the O-ring. The O-ring, the white one, was stuck to the top of the handle. Man, this is really an eventful, <laughs> an eventful shave. I didn't notice that. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, we're going to go through all that. All right, okay, there we go. All right, now that's nice and snug. Balance and alignment, spot on. And the lather, through all that, the lather has stayed nice and stable. It's uh, moistening and softening the whisker, as did the hot towel. Thanks again to Jamie Horn. But, uh, yeah, we're all set to go. So we're going to give this a quarter of a turn. Yeah, there we go. quarter of a turn. So we've opened up the level of aggression there. We're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. And I can tell you right now, just giving it that little bit of a twist, there is a, there, I did feel a difference uh, in the way the uh, twistability uh, responded. And I, I gotta, I gotta say, uh, it was smoother. It was smoother than the, than the white uh, buffer ring. It was a little smoother, no doubt about it. All right, heating it up, some, heating it up, some, heating it up under some hot, hot water. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that is really, really nice. Very, very smooth and efficient. Terrific, terrific blade. And a lot of nice protection from this lather. Boy, that's terrific. That is really nice. Boy, very smooth.
Boy, this blade is great. This is a wonderful blade. I got a couple, a little couple of guys right there. I did not feel those at all. I didn't feel them. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's very, very smooth. And again, you see one little one there like that? It's very, very slight. The water kind of makes it worse than it really is. We're going to rinse. Let's see where we're at because the first pass is done. Yeah, that was, boy, I tell you what, that's darn near socially acceptable. Man, that, that blade, that blade is something. Man, that's good. And again, I got a little guy right there, and I don't know, I didn't feel anything at all. I didn't feel anything at all. That is really a smooth blade, but perhaps with this blade, I shouldn't have opened that razor up. A full quarter of a turn. I probably could, should have backed off a little bit. I'll have to remember that next time around. Man, that's good. Wow. All right, boy. I got plenty of lather. I got. Look how much lather here. I got. I got plenty of lather. Look at that. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to snug this up all the way, and I'm just going to open up maybe about a, an eighth of a turn. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, that is a sharp, smooth blade. My goodness. Very, very smooth. No tugging or pulling on the neck at all. Really nice and smooth. Two days worth of beard growth just being <laughs> shaved away really nicely. Boy, that is really something. Chin is really close. This razor head on the width of grain pass on the upper lip got a good 90% of everything. On that first pass. Okay, again, the water is diluting that and making it look worse than it is. Well, one, two, three, right there. Wow, that is unusual for me. This blade, <laughs> this blade packs a punch. I'm going to have to turn that razor down a little bit uh, when I'm using it. Boy, that really is something, huh? But man, what a close finish. But the thing is, the blade is so smooth. Wow. I mean, and the... The lather gave me some really, really nice feel and comfort and cushion. Uh, <laughs> I didn't feel it at all. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Okay, I did a good deal of rinsing there. My gosh, that is... This shave is done after two passes. My gosh, that is close. What a wonderful shave. I don't need to do a third pass. Two days worth of beard growth. That's pretty darn amazing. Wow. All right, we're going to do my two final rinses. We're going to kick off the uh, the warm water rinse with a nice hot towel here. And then we're going to follow up with a warm water rinse, a cold water rinse. And then uh, I'll see you on the other side for the Allen block. We'll see how these guys, how how this uh, how this looks after all that. All right, so uh, 
one more, all my final lenses, and I'll see you on the other side for the yellow block. Wow, very, very refreshing. Gave myself a really nice round of cold water rinsing because I want to see if this is going to close up. And I also see a little one right over here as well. So, wow, <laughs> that's, a, that's a sharp blade. Wow, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Yeah, the Allen block has its work cut out for it. And maybe even a styptic pencil. We'll see. You know, every once in a blue moon, this will happen. And it affords a good opportunity to show you how a styptic pencil works. Styptic pencil. How a styptic pencil works. So, yeah. Man, is that a close shave. My gosh, those are sharp, sharp blades. Man. You know what? I haven't used them in such a long time. Wow. I got to tell you, I think those are sharper than feather. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm serious. Those are something. Comment below and let me know if you've used the German-made Persona Reds and what you think of them. Those are sharp. Wow. I should not have turned up a quarter of a turn on that first pass. My goodness, that's a wow. Wow. All right, here is the Phoenix Shaving Solid Allen Block. I don't have the no slip grip on there. I took it off. I want the uh, entire block to breathe a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and run this under some cold water. And let's see where we're at. And see if we can, okay, this guy right here, this guy right here, and one little guy right there. And we'll see if we can close those up without having to resort to a styptic pencil. And I think we will. All right, here we go. You know, it, it, here's the ironic thing. It's very, very smooth. Smooth as ice. I mean, there's no stinging or zinging. Just in those three areas that you see. And it looks like this guy closed up very nicely right there. Uh, I can feel a little bit of a, a little bit of a zing, maybe even a little bit of a sting right there. But that closed up very nicely. And this guy here is closing up, but this one here, I'm going to take the Allen block and I'm going to apply it like that and I'm going to go ahead and hold that there for about 20 seconds. Alexa, set a timer for 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So we'll let that, we'll let that go for 20 seconds. This is a tip that we learned on the Monday morning mailbag from viewers. Just hold it on there for, you know, 20, 30 seconds like that. It should seal it right up. Alexa, stop. Yeah, that got it. So I don't have to use a styptic pencil, so that tells me it's not really that bad. Sometimes when it gets wet from the water, it gets wetty. It's get wetty? <laughs> it gets wet and gets diluted and gets very runny. And uh, that makes it look worse than it actually is. Here's the dry dock system. There's the... A solid Allen block. There's the no slip grip. I'll just set it right over there like that. Let me show you the. Uh, let me show you the, uh, the lather here. Look at this lather. Boy, it gave me a lot of nice, lot of nice comfort cushion. Gave me a nice, a lot of nice protection too because uh, I didn't realize <laughs> I haven't used those blades in a long, long time. I didn't realize how sharp those are. My gosh, so I'm glad I had Formula CK6. For the protection that it uh, that it gives, because uh, man, I think with a lesser shave soap that could have been disastrous for me. And again, I had two days worth of beard growth, so I'm thinking, okay, you know, we'll turn the aggression up a little bit on the copper ascension razor, that sort of thing, and uh, you know, heating it up under a nice under the hot water. I have a nice warm razor, and maybe that came into play also in. Uh, the smooth shave, the comfort, not feeling uh, when these guys happen. But you can see they're nicely sealed up. 
and uh, they're going to be fine. Uh, man, and this this is BBS. This is a BBS shave. Man, wow, what a shave. Okay, here we go with the uh, aftershave here. And you can see it's brand new, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. Yeah, I am really, really happy that I had Formula CK6 for this shave. I had a really nice ladder with a lot of cushion and a lot of protection. Uh, again, I think it could have been far, far worse uh, with just a, a off-the-shelf, big-box store kind of a shave. So, no, no, no. With this, with this Phoenix shaving, this was... This was wonderful to have. Okay, let me just scrape this off as best I can. Okay, like that. Okay, let's see if I can get it off. Look at the towel here. Yeah, there you go. Just rub, it, rub the towel on there like that and get that cleaned off. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, this is a great scent. This is great. Hang on. Let me get rid of that little bit of paper there. Here we go. This is great. Oh yeah, this is marvelous. This is a, again, this is a really, really wonderful scent. If you like Fresco, Old Spice Fresh, put it on the hands like that. Okay, let's just wait a little bit. Jimmy V method. And by the way, thanks to Jimmy V for the Paul Gruner lathering bowl. That thing just did an absolutely spectacular job. All right, let the let the alcohol evaporate. Nothing but the good stuff. I need a little more. I need a little more. That's good stuff. It's just that when there's a new bottle like this, for some reason, on that first outing, it takes a little bit to get it out. Okay. Wait a little more. All right. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's marvelous. That is really, really terrific. All right, here's some Mysterium Serum for upstairs, like that. All right, I'm going to need a head shave, and uh, I think if I use the uh, Persona Red Blade, I'm going to use it in a nice mild razor, either the uh, Copper Ascension uh, at the mildest setting, or something like an R89, that sort of thing, or the Metaphor from Phoenix Shaving. Wow, great shave. How about that? Look at that. I think I could say technically no no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. It was really close. And this shave soap did an absolutely spectacular job at uh, giving me a lot of nice cushion, a lot of nice protection, some nice glide. But you know all that about Formula CK6. It's absolutely marvelous. And it just gave me a great, great shave. However... This Persona Red Blade, my gosh, this thing, this is a, for me, this is a sharp, sharp blade. And uh, a very, very smooth blade, but very, very sharp. I need to respect that blade a little more and use it at milder settings for adjustable razors, uh, the Twist Adjustable uh, Ascension, and uh, use it in mild razors. And I think I'm going to get great, great shaves with it. And if I pair it up with uh, Tassi Perfecto or any of the Phoenix Shaving Formula CK6 Shave Soaps, I'm going to get a lot of nice glide, a lot of nice protection, and, uh, yeah, a really, really nice result. Look at that. I mean, that is BBS. Maybe one, see here, maybe one little Phantom Nick right here that's already kind of coagulating and this guy's sealing up yeah they're all sealing up i guess i could call them phantom nicks uh to be perfectly honest with you these are going to be fine uh and i got just got a great result next time around uh a little milder on that setting on the twist adjustable with a persona red razor blade and i think i'm going to be fine uh but uh really this was a fantastic and a terrific, terrific shave. Plus, it gave me an opportunity to show you a little bit of a technique that viewers have passed along regarding the use of an Allen block, and it worked really, really well. Uh, I could go out tonight and uh, no, none would be the wiser about whether or not, or if or if, if I nick myself or not. Uh, really, it, this is all going to heal up in a matter of, uh, I would say, five to ten minutes. Uh, you won't see a trace of it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regard these, I'm gonna put them in the category of Phantom Mix. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's a, just a wonderful BBS shave. 
absolutely fantastic. Uh, and all thanks to uh, Phoenix Shavings, Casi Perfecto. My gosh, what an absolutely wonderful, wonderful scent. I love CK6. Uh, it was just a great shave. I really, really do like it a lot. My thanks to Don Fran Huxley and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for very kindly passing this one along. Come on, get on there. Oh, how come this won't? <laughs> there we go. My thanks to Doug Fran. Boy, this has been quite a shame. The O-ring, <laughs> the cap won't come off, the little seal won't come off. My, go <laughs> my gosh. Still, a great shame. A, a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Again, my thanks to Doug Fran Huxley and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for very kindly passing along the uh, Casi Perfecto from Phoenix Shaving in form of a CK6, the shave soap and the aftershave. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic scent. Again, if you're a fan of Fresco or Old Spice Fresh that Phoenix Shaving has offered the wet shaving community, you will absolutely love this one. Gentlemanly, nicely refined, a nice masculine undertone, perfect for an evening out or any special occasion. Really, really did, uh, really, really, really do like this one. Uh, again, thanks to Doug Fran Hux and everyone at Phoenix Shaving. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell so we'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists in shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zeredi where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.